What's up guys, Mark from Freak Finder Fishing. I just entered the state of Vermont, um, headed to New York State to none other than Lake Champlain. Uh, we are headed to the Ticonderoga area of Lake Champlain. Got a few days of practice ahead of us, and then we have our tournament on Saturday and Sunday. It's uh, Wednesday morning. I worked last night, came home, hooked up, and here I am. Still got another two and a half hours to go. But uh, this will be the beginning of our second episode of our web series. Uh, F3 Tournament Series, our first episode was okay. Uh, we had a really hard time catching fish, especially catching them on camera. Uh, this time might be a little bit different. We shall see. It's my favorite place in the world to fish. It's the most miraculous largemouth fishery probably on the planet. Uh, Ticonderoga is amazing. It's been fishing great. Stay tuned. We'll see you out there. What's up guys? So we are finally here, Ticonderoga. Boat's ready to go. Picture perfect day here. It's about 78 degrees. It's gonna be an awesome day. Hey, what's up guys? Um, I ran south out of the ramp, started fishing. Um, I threw a variety of different jigs. <sighs> got my first one. Pretty good fish, I gotta say. Um, took me a while to get my first bite, but that was a good first one. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. Right back on the tree I caught him off of. Hopefully he's there during the tournament. So it looks like we might be in a little bit of hot water. A lot of our old patterns have uh, vanished in the breeze. <clears throat> so we're gonna try to figure some stuff out. So here's a little look at our setup here. All right, Van, a little deal. Get the truck. The boat's in the boat garden over there. I guess a little kitchen. Bedroom action here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. More importantly. That's today's lineup. All right, Matt, give me a tidbit. A tasty treat. Uh, I don't know if I have any tasty treats yet. We're hopefully gonna find some tasty treats today. Um, drove all night to get up here. Gonna drive north, try to find some good grass, try to find some, some different grass from what's down south. Uh, we don't really have much down south right now. Uh, Mark did a little recon yesterday. Everything that we kind of had down there last year, not really the deal. Water's too low. So we're gonna run up north and try to find some stuff and we'll put it together. We got two <laughs> solid days. La 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 la. Me la 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 la.
crazy crazy day we made a 30 mile run we're up here uh, close to Burlington Vermont um, we had to abandon our abandon our largemouth plan altogether it just wasn't happening for us so we rolled up on this area and we put together a stunning bag of smallmouth nothing too crazy but after not catching fish for a couple days fish here fish here developing an actual pattern and getting into some good fish I mean, we've been culling for the past uh, a few hours and it's it's an awesome, awesome situation to run into when you make a gamble, make a huge long run and stumble into some fish. So we're off. We have a long ride back to the Ticonderoga boat ramp. Let's go. Let's go weigh in some fish. Hey, what's up guys? Day two, ready to splash in here. Got a long run to make this morning. Left them biting yesterday. Gonna try to go get another big bag of smallies and get back in the money here. Sitting in eighth out of 33. We're going to get there. That's gonna wrap it up for us here from uh, Lake Champlain out of Fort Ticonderoga. Probably ended up in the top 10 somewhere. Don't know of the official results, but we had a little over like 45 and change. Weighed in 19 and a quarter today. Uh, burned some more gas today, ran up north. Who would have thought Fort Ticonderoga tournament week came in with 16 smallmouth over the course of two days, but got some good footage, had a fun time, ran some big water. Mark knows how to drive a bass boat. We were good. Yeah, we took a. <clears throat> I lost my voice from screaming so loud when I caught so many smallies. Uh, we took a big risk running up north. Uh, we ran, you know, up into the Burlington area from Ticonderoga, which usually is the inverse. You know, usually you see a lot of guys running down this way to catch largies, but um, for our style of largemouth fishing and for our knowledge of the lake, we really didn't have much going on down here in Ty. So we said, um, you know. We said, let's let, let's get crazy, let's make a run, go look for some smallies. We found them, they just uh, weren't big enough. <laughs> they were yesterday. They were yesterday. We had 26 and change yesterday, 19 and a quarter today. Dropped a couple today, didn't fish as clean as we probably would have liked, but we also had some elements today that we didn't have yesterday. Um, but yeah, we just had a bad practice. We had a bad practice down here. Knew it probably by Friday afternoon that we didn't really have a lot going on. And what's really remarkable that I think we probably didn't really touch on too much so far is we developed a pattern halfway through day one of the tournament. So nothing that we fished over the last day and a half was anything that we found in the week that we've been up here. Uh, we just looked at a map, threw a dart at it, found something that was good and smallies were firing. So a lot to be said for that too, so. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so 
tournament number two is in the books. Awesome event, great time. I learned more about Lake Champlain this time uh, than I'd say I learned more in the past two days than I did all week last year. Yeah, um, we really we really tested this lake quite a bit. We run we, we ran as fa as far as we could have today. There's no we, we couldn't have gone any further because of the weather. Yeah, as you saw in the video, uh, we were fishing a flat. Uh, with three foot rollers coming through it. So I mean it was uh, it was pretty intense Just made everything that much more difficult yeah. whether it was casting whether it was netting fish whether it was calling fish Everything was just very exaggerated today because we were in the elements, but Coming back in two weeks not to here Maine Lake Kavaskani Kavaskani uh, We've got a uh, double down with the Maine TBF on August 10th, so We'll be there in two weeks, and hopefully catch them on a chatterbait again. Because we did a lot of that this week, and it was fun, because that's how we both like to fish. So, see you in two weeks.